Hi everyone and welcome back to some more Warhammer 40k Gladius. So, it looks like we are about to beat the Necrons. Their city is down to 24 out of 96. I don't know if they have any more cities, but I guess we'll find out. Not much else we can do on this turn though. We got some more wildlife over there, that shouldn't be a problem. Okay, let's see how much damage we can do. We need 24 damage. I'm not sure if we can do it on this turn. But, we'll definitely do it on the next one. Yeah, 2.8, 2.8, 2.9, 6 6.3. Yeah, I think we need one more turn, unless we move in with everything. That might just work. We will take some damage from Overwatch. I think this might be enough. Yep, we destroyed it. Nice one. So now we should probably start our own city over here. Sounds like a good idea, yeah. Okay, sure, let's get a tech priest. That will take a little bit of time. I don't think I can speed it up, no. We'll just have to wait. Alright then, so now we can attack the space marines. Because they are sending some more units. We'll see how many more they are going to send. Yeah, he moved into our city bombardment range. He's going to have a bad time. I think we can kill him. I'm pretty sure we can. Let's see, how about some special ability? Mostly the grenades. Never mind then. Yeah, he's going down. Bye bye. And we got more incoming. Alright then. Well, let's take care of it, shall we? If we can. Maybe, maybe not. We still got one more artillery. Can we kill him? Almost, but not quite. I don't think I have a follow-up. Nope, unfortunately not. Well, it's fine. We got another level up on Lord Commissar. Aura of Discipline, 3 out of 3. And we got another artillery. I think that's going to be enough artillery for now. We don't have the materials for more anyway. That's our fourth artillery, if I'm not mistaken. That should be more than enough. That's the Necron hero right here. This would be a good moment to kill him. Yep. But we also got the Space Marines to deal with. And this guy is trying to run away. I think we can catch him. With artillery, maybe? We should be able to. He's still not dead. One more shot should do it. There we go, we got him. Alright then. So, how about that Necron hero? And we got more Space Marines incoming. Okay. This could get interesting. Might want to back up with that heavy weapon squad. And send our hero in this general direction. This might actually get pretty interesting. Back up slightly. And we got that Necron hero to deal with. A little bit hard to do everything all at the same time. Let's see, attack. What about the tank? Let's send the tank towards our city. And you can throw a grenade. That was less damage than I thought it would be. Never mind. Well, I guess that's that. What is he doing? Oh, he's attacking the heavy weapon squad. Makes sense, they were heavily wounded. We need to get rid of that tank. Let's see, no valid target for our city. Interesting. What about our hero? What can he do? Molten Beam, Life Leech. Let's use the Molten Beam. Well, the Molten Beam scales the damage with the group size. So that's not too great against a tank. But we don't need Life Leech. Certainly not. It's still going to be way more damage than a melee attack. Yeah, look at the damage. 6.6 .6 damage, that's a lot. 
Might want to back up with the Lord Commissar now. What do we use to finish him off? Let's just use the heavy weapon squad. Here, it's down. Now, we got quite a few more units to deal with. Let's see. And we got a robot. Which is slightly annoying. Well, I guess we'll attack him. Now, what is this exactly? Space Marines, right. So, they're a basic unit. Can we do enough damage? We might be able to. There's still a lot of wire weed blocking the way. Yeah, I don't think we can finish him off. Actually, yes, we got one more artillery. He's still not dead. And I cannot attack with the city, unfortunately. Well, that's annoying. But it's not like he can go very far. We'll finish him off on the next turn, it's fine. Yeah, it's fine, we'll finish him off on the next turn. That heavy weapon squad might die to the robot. I guess we'll find out. How about we spend some of our minerals? We need six more turns to finish the tech priest. I'm thinking maybe we should get more battle tanks. One more certainly wouldn't hurt. Okay, one more battle tank, that leaves us with 12. So, not enough for much of anything. He's actually moving in, really? That's a little bit strange, but alright. Whatever floats your boat, you're going down. So, and we need to reclaim the trader encampment. One step at a time. Let's send the tank this way. I wonder if they have a city somewhere around here. Because they are coming from somewhere. I'm not sure where from exactly. And we should claim whatever this is. An outpost. Okay then, let's heal up. And wait for that tech priest. We didn't lose anything in the past few turns, so that's good. Yep, repair everything and hold our current positions, that's fine. Maybe move one artillery slightly closer. Yeah, that will do. Next, how's our research going? We are about to finish extra vehicle armor, so that will be quite helpful. There it is. And what can we do next? Maybe it's some cheaper tech. Unless we want to go for tier 8. Anything particularly useful in tier 8? Heavy bolters. Grants Bane Blades, Lemon Rose Battle Tanks and Valkyries extra heavy bolters. We do have the tanks. So that might not be a bad idea. And we are building another one right now. What else do we have here? Hammer of Wrath. Grants Bolgrins the ability to perform more devastating attacks. We got Bolgrins too. So that's an option. This guy. What else? Relic plating. Grants which fire damage reduction to ground vehicles. Running hot. Edict that increases the energy output of buildings in the city. And Thunderbolt. Fast and heavy fighter unit. We could also go for something cheaper. Like, we can get a tier 4 tech in 4 turns, tier 3 tech in 3 turns, inspired training. Actually, yeah, let's unlock that edict. That's only one turn, and I might actually use it. We got a lot of influence. So, it's a possibility. Let's grab that outpost. And right, we should do something about that stupid robot. Sounds good to me. Maybe we can take it down. We should be able to. He's not dead yet. Oh yeah, I can't attack through the forest. Whoops. My bad. I don't think I can take him down right now. Not anymore, no. Well, maybe with artillery. Here, he's down. Nice. Yeah, you can't go wrong with more artillery. Here, we got the trader encampment. And anything else? We could maybe buy some items with our heroes. That's not a bad idea. 
Where's the other one? Yep, this guy. We can send him this way. We need to reclaim the encampment anyway. As for our city, house population, 5 out of 12. Okay, so we are fine. How about we claim some more tiles? We can claim this one, although we don't really need more influence at the moment. Not really, no. We can clear the wireweed, that's a possibility. You know what, sure. I've been doing that around the capital. We are clearing a tile right now, actually. And we'll handle the wildlife, it's fine. Research completed, so that gives us inspired training. And we could use that here, for example, to get more Bolgrins. It's an option. That's the one. Increases the production output of Imperial Barracks. Oh, and we are losing some energy. Let's fix that then. Plus 20%. Yeah, that will do. So here you go, that will only take two turns, and now we can take care of the wildlife. Use the Molten Beam. That will do some really nice damage. And we might as well use the artillery. Need to move a little bit closer first. Six tile range. It's almost down, we got one more artillery. Where was it? Right here. That one is slightly too far away. Alright then. So let's move a few guys in this direction, in case the Space Marines set more units from that way. Other than that, yep, we'll repair ourselves and then we can go scout around a little bit. As for research... Let's take a look. Edict that increases food output. Building that increases loyalty. Tank commander. Might not be a bad idea, actually. What else? Labor core. Building that constructs new buildings and generates influence. Edict that increases our output of the buildings in the city. Edict that increases growth of the city. Extra infantry armor. You know what? Let's get extra infantry armor. Because they are a little bit squishy at this point. So it looks like the Necrons have a city in this direction. Somewhere around there. At least as far as I can tell. Alright, let's take care of this. And he's dead. Right, we should definitely split up a little bit. And I'd like to explore to the northwest as well. Could be something interesting over there. Now we can check out the shop. What can we buy? Let's take a look. We can trade influence for items. Note that many common items have a limited number of uses. Okay then. But the trader has an endless supply of these. The rarest and most powerful items available are artifact items, many of which cannot be bought but must be acquired in other unknown ways. Well, we got a lot of items in here. Okay, what do we want? Good question. Reduces movement and accuracy of target enemy unit. Increases melee damage of the unit. Okay. Increases the level of the unit. I kind of like that, so we can basically buy a level for 200 influence. Yeah, sure, how about we do that? Sounds good to me. And here's the level up. Scryer's Gaze. Molten Beam, yeah, let's improve Molten Beam because that's so good. Anything else we want to buy? Stun Grenade. Prevents the target enemy unit from acting. That is not bad, let's buy that too. Okay then. So... Yeah, that's going to be enough for now. That's enough. Anything else? Let's move in this general direction. With at least a few guys. Some artillery. We'll leave one around here. We'll leave both around here. 
How's that tech priest? We need two more turns to finish him. Okay, good. Because I want that city. Maybe we should build the void port by now. I think we should. In our capital? Yeah, that's probably the safest bet. It will take 10 turns, so we better get started on that. More Necrons, yeah, they definitely have a city somewhere in this area. And we lost a guardsman. Alright, that's the hero, again. We are going to need more units in this area. I don't think we can kill the hero, but we can kill the other guy. Definitely. Oh, I can't attack. Right. But we got artillery. I'm loving all this artillery. I think he's going down. Yep, he's down. And we can still attack the hero. There you go. So, how about we get more units? And what's this? I think that's an ore field. Yep. That's what it is. One turn to finish the tech priest, and then we'll start a city somewhere around here. Then we'll get the city bombardment to help with all these necrons. And this one? I'm thinking maybe another extractor. Yeah, sure, because we need more materials. He's running away. Let's follow him. Yep, there's the city, we found it. Nice one. Alright, let's not move into city bombardment range, but we can still attack the hero. From out of range. You need to heal up. Six tile range. So, right here. We can't quite kill him, but we'll do some pretty good damage. And then we can attack the city itself. He's almost dead, actually. I could finish him off. Well, no, not anymore. But he's almost dead. He's literally at one health. Again. That seems to happen a lot. Here, grab the ore field. And there's something else over here as well. And we got the tech priest. Nice. Now we can start the actual city. What's next? Well, nothing for now. Not enough minerals. He healed himself and he's still running away. Like that coward that he is. So. Time to attack the city. That's not actually the city. Yet. We need to move closer. Wait, is there actually a city over here? I'm not seeing it. I mean, obviously there is, but we can't see it just yet. There it is. Okay, good. So, six style range on the artillery. Right here. Okay, we'll attack with everything we got. It will take a few turns, but we'll take it down eventually. He will have to defend it way more aggressively than this. How's the health now? 116 out of 128. Alright, good enough for me. Heavy weapons. And we'll grab whatever this is. Outpost, Shard of Wall. Alright then. There's the Tech Priest. And then what? Three more turns to finish the energy building. Three turns to finish the extractor. Seven turns for void port. I wouldn't mind more ball greens. Let's get at least one more. It will take a while to recruit him, so we might as well get started. And we'll send the tank west. We don't need him here anymore. The space marines seem to be a little bit quiet. There's extra infantry armor. And what do we research next? Something tier 8 maybe. Additional heavy bolters? Maybe. Relic plating? That might be useful actually. 11 turns to research any of these. Or we could research the Thunderbolt. Let's research the Thunderbolt, since we are building the Void Port anyway. Might as well have something that we will be able to build in there, once it's finished. Because right now, we don't. 
So, back to the siege. He doesn't seem to be defending. Not at least so far. Well, that's his problem, not mine. What's the range on the city? Two tile range, so we can just chill over here. And it will be out of range. There's the hero. I would like to kill the hero, but he needs to move towards us first. This is too far away. Okay, done. He's still healing himself. No, he's moving in. Good. Now we can take him down. Should be doable. Let's find out. First, heavy weapon squad. That's very nice damage. Then ball greens. And he'll be almost dead already. Yeah, he's going down. Oh, but now I can't see the city itself. Whoops. My bad. Let's move back in. And to do some more damage. If he doesn't send way more units to defend, the city will go down. But let's not get ahead of ourselves just yet. And maybe we should keep some basic defenses around here. It makes me a little bit nervous leaving it completely undefended. Yeah, let's keep some basic defenses over there. We aren't that far away, but still. There's the other tank. As for the production queue. We got 72 minerals. I'll pass for now. Let's save for other things. We are going to need 100 to even start a new city. So we best save up. We just need a few more turns for our tech priest to get there. Yeah, the city is going to be roughly around here. That sounds reasonable. So, back to the city siege. Let's back up slightly. And we can do more damage. You're going down. How's that? 83 out of 134. Yeah, it will take a while, but we are doing it from a safe distance. We could do way more damage if we moved in, but then we would take some major damage. I would prefer to avoid that. So, there's the extractor and also the energy building. 13 out of 19 population, so population is fine. We might need more food. Alright, let's grab a farm. Down here will do. As for our other city, we can also get a farm here. Yeah, sounds good to me. Let's grab a farm. It will make it grow faster. Now they are moving in. To defend. How's that working out for you? Not very well. Okay, we know there's a guy over here. I think we can take him down. Yep, he's already dead. And move into a better position for Overwatch. So now if something moves into our range from the south, the heavy weapon squad will get a shot. Oh, that's wireweed. Whoops. Yeah, it's fine. 71 out of 134. We are halfway done with the city. We'll leave one tank here and send one tank west. More wildlife, that's fine. Our city can handle that. Alright then, so let's start the city, shall we? Or do we have to wait one more turn? Oh, we need 150, so the cost actually goes up when you get more. Alright, fair enough. We'll just wait, that's not really a problem. Space Marines are coming. A Hunter. Alright. Interesting. We won't do that much damage, but we can throw a grenade. That will be much better. Yep. So, anything else? We could use the artillery. We can also use heavy weapon squad. That works. They will do reduce the damage after moving, but they will still do some damage. Yeah, let's take that guy down. 
will do some damage with the artillery. Yep, that will do. That looks reasonable. He's down. Nice. Good job, everyone. Alright, we need to save up 150 minerals to start a city. That will be our fourth city. And then we'll probably want a fifth once he takes care of this Necron city. This looks like their capital. Yeah, Royal Core. I'm pretty sure this is their capital. Kind of looks that way. We just want to kill this guy. Alright, back to the siege. How's that? 56 out of 134. Looking better. So, hold position. Yep, just chill around here. It's fine. And the tank will also stay here. Defend the outpost. I think the Necrons are out of steam. They don't seem to be defending very actively anymore. Nope, certainly not. We can still send the tank to help with the siege. And I suppose we can send the heavy weapon squad as well. Because why not? Sure, works for me. Stay around here. How about our capital? We are still working on the Thunderbolt. So right now, the Void Port... Actually, well, we can get the Valkyrie, but that's a transport unit. I don't think we need that right now. What do we need? We need more food. We are building one farm, but let's get another one here. Plus 40% food from this tile. That's definitely the best location for it. Okay, and remember, we are saving up 150 to be able to start a city. So, I'll try to avoid spending it for other things. Two more turns, well though. Space Marines are coming again. They really want that outpost, don't they? Yeah, it's an ore field, so makes sense that they want it. We should be able to take him down, I think. Maybe, maybe not. Probably not on this turn. He'll go down on the next one, it's fine. Alright, back to the siege. We can move in with the heavy weapon squad. That will be some extra firepower. It's going down! It's down to 32. Construction queue is done. Okay, we still need some more energy. How about we claim a new tile? Which one has some energy? None. We can get a tile with plus 30% food. Also, plus 30% ore. I think I like that more. And the other city? We still need more energy. So, how about we do that? We'll acquire a new tile with the bonus, and then get more energy from that. This is more or less our energy city. It's the only one with decent energy bonus tiles in range. He is trying to defend. How's that working out for you? Well, yeah, I don't want to move into city bombardment range, but I want to attack with the ball greens. Here, that will be pretty good damage right there. I can't attack the city from over here, unfortunately. But we can get this guy. And back to the city bombardment. I'm glad we got all these basilisks. 20 out of 134. I'm pretty sure we can take it down on the next turn. Should be easy enough. So, stay here. And we still got one more attack. There, he's going down. He did heal himself. That's not going to help him all that much. Back to the city. I'm pretty sure we can take it down now. That's 7 out of 134. So we can either move in with other guys, or we can play it safe and take it down on the next turn instead. 
Let's just play it safe. There's no need to take unnecessary risks. I still can't attack through the forest, but we can attack from here. He's dead. Nice. So, fortify and just hold position. Oh, yep. Space Marines are coming. Not exactly surprising, I suppose. Maybe send more units in that direction. But we should be fine. He has a twin-linked last cannon. Alright then. How's our research? Two more turns to finish the Thunderbolt. Then we will definitely get one. Minus one energy. Uh, we still need to wait one more turn. Our energy stockpile is fine though. Now we can start the power generator. Down here. We can get up to three in that tile. He's already running away. I can't blame him. So, the city. Let's get this done, shall we? It's going down. I'm pretty sure this is their capital. It has to be. It has the royal court. Yep, faction defeated. The green light fades from the last artificial eye as the last Necron gives up the fight. After immeasurable eons of war, their cities are crushed, their troops atomized, their leaders slain. Though beneath the planet's surface, millions more still slumber in deathly unquiet. Let's call this a victory. Yes, let's. So, I think that's a good moment to make a cut. I'm going to continue in the next episode. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. And we just found the orcs. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.